In the 5G era, automation is a necessary capability to reduce increasing network complexity. How can we maximise the dividends brought by network automation and also eliminate OPEX increases caused by this complexity? How can we embrace more business opportunity? Today, we are joined by Andy Hicks, Principal Analyst at Global Data, to share his perspectives. Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eaves. It's a real pleasure to be here today with Andy Hicks, Principal Analyst of Global Data. Andy, it's lovely to see you again. Thank you for having me. Real pleasure. I'd love to speak today about um, automation in this age of 5G sure. and what you think the biggest future trend is at the moment in network automation development. Well, it's interesting. I, the big trend is that everyone agrees on where we need to go, but there are a variety of ways to get there because it's going to take a long time. We're going to a place of automation eventually where the policy and the customer experience talk to the orchestration so that the network can adjust to daily, even sometimes hourly, real-time uh, adjustments in customer experience. And what would you say overall is the biggest challenge for that continuous improvement? Um, it's get everything to talk to each other. Uh, for very good reasons, uh, everyone's working on their own piece of the puzzle because it's better to be able to realize the benefits of automation relatively quickly, and that means that everyone's doing AI and automation separately. They don't have to get budget approval from other places. They can kind of get something out the door quickly, realize some benefits in experience, realize some benefits in OPEX, for example. But it's going to take a lot more time to uh, normalize all the models, to get everything talking to each other, and, and so on. And what do you think from an operator and a vendor perspective can be best done to overcome those challenges? Well, you, you need to have an agreement on the vision and I think there needs to be a little bit more effort in terms of standards because even within the operator, there are different AI models, for example, needs to talk to each other. Absolutely, and looking at the automation perspective, how would you best describe the role of that in this 5G environment? Absolutely essential. You, you can't do it without automation because there are just so many applications, so many use cases that have to be supported by slices that we're already at the point where you can't do that manually. And so you need to have just this constant monitoring, this constant adjustment and so on. And that all comes from automation. You can't do it any way else. Absolutely. I mean, imperative, isn't it? I think it's the only way. It absolutely. absolutely is. Totally agree. And within that, the role of AI, I know you've touched on that a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. but how would you kind of expand on that a little bit about the role of AI within this environment? You Rules are always going to be essential in terms of automation rules, but you really need to have AI because everything's moving so rapidly. And I think one thing that people don't realize about 5G is that it's not only about providing new capabilities that the network can never really do before, but it's also about not providing those capabilities when you don't need them. Agility, isn't it? I think, I think right. yeah, a dynamic right. environment. In I totally real time. agree. Fantastic. And that incremental approach to innovation could not agree more. Right. Thank you, Andy. Fantastic Absolutely. insights as always. Really appreciate it. Happy to be here. Thank you very much.